Hi, we're going to be changing the chain and sprockets on a CRF 80 made by Honda. Uh, we've got a JT462420 sprocket, a 14420 sprocket for the front, a Japanese made 420 arcade chain. Should be a pretty easy job. Here are the tools we're going to be using. I kind of looked it over. Uh, we've got a 19 millimeter, we have a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench, and a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. All right, we got to take this 19 millimeter nut off here, and this holds the shaft for the entire assembly here. Okay. Now we have to take the chain tensioner off on both sides. It's a 10 millimeter. So it's going to come off. While we've got this on this side, we're going to take this 10 millimeter and we're going to take off the shifter. Cut. Okay, we have to take ch t chain tensioner off on this side. And also the brake lever we have to take off right here. And that's actually hand tight. Push the brake lever and that'll come right out. I'm gonna put this back on here. It looks okay. like on this bike, in order to take, change the front sprocket, we're gonna have to take this section of the engine off, which means we're gonna have to drain the oil. So I'm going to loosen that up. Go ahead drain the oil out. We've already washed this off, that way no dust gets back into it when we go back together. There's the oil. Okay, okay. for the oil drain plug, that ended up being a 17 millimeter. So uh, now I'm going to be taking off these bolts here for the cap to the side of the engine, which also covers the front sprocket, and it's an 8 millimeter. And it's pretty tight. Loosen all these up. All right, so now, some of them are coming out by hand, but this one here is tight. Cut. All right, pulling the cover off here, and I see we've got our front sprocket exposed. That is a 10 millimeter. Hmm. There we go. It broke loose. Broke loose. All right, I'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, our master link is right here. I've already taken the clip off, but we still have to break the master link apart. So we'll save those two bolts for putting the new one back on. Okay, now I gotta break this off. Was that a diver that just came flying by? Yeah. Okay. Not part of the video. Okay. There we go. Master link removed. Cut. Alright. Pulling the locking plate off. And the sprocket. Alright. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. We're fixing to start going back together with it. So we're going to put the new one back on. locking plate bolt another bolt we'll tighten that down we're actually going to tighten this down we're going to put gasket on and we're going to put this all back together and then we're going to go back to the back of the motorcycle over here. All right, let's get this chain off here. This is the old one, of course, which is pretty obvious. 
is in horrible condition. Be able to bend a chain and make it look like a banana. Uh, there's a 14 millimeter nut on the back, Allen wrench on the front, six millimeter, and that is to take the sprocket off. There's four of them, four of these, and then we'll have this sprocket off. All right, this should be our last one. back together. All right. Now we have to pull this bolt out far enough to slide this socket or sprocket through. Cut. All right. This one has a lot of wear. This is the rear sprocket. You can compare this is scalloped out and the teeth are real thin compared to the top one here. So it, this is the direction it turned, so it was pulling here, so it was scalping out here. All right, so we're gonna put this one on. Again, there's four. It has a 14 millimeter nut on the back side, six millimeter Allen wrench on the front side. All right, this is the last of the four bolts we have to tighten for the rear sprocket. And we're fixing to put the wheel back on. All right, got the two chains out. I'm gonna show you the difference. Look how much that one bends. This one has a little bit of bend, but very little. This one just goes all over the place. And it's also, you can feel it and hear it in between the joints. This one you can't. Now we're going to install it. All right. There we go. All right, so we, we've threaded our chain around over here. Got it over the top. Now we have to put our, our final piece, the master link. We're going to put this piece in from the back side. Then our thick piece, which holds it together, the actual force. I'm going to try it with these pliers here. You slide the big hole on. Then you line it up with the next one. Then come across. That did it. All right, can you zoom in right there and see that? All right, now we still have to put tension on the chain. So we're gonna do that next, then we're gonna tighten down the bolt here that holds the entire assembly together. Then we're going to fill it with oil, and also we're going to put this back together. All right, we have to put the brake mechanism back together. And then this is just hand tight. It actually holds itself together because of the way it's designed here. I want okay. to show you why we started this project to begin with. The chain, this is wrapped tight. And if you look at the chain, you should not be able to pull a chain away from a sprocket. If you can pull that away, the chain and the sprocket's worn out. Here's the new one right here you can't pull it away at all that's it project finished